Uh, hello once again folks. I thought uh, it was time for me to give you an update on the uh, gravel uh, filter bed we put in uh, about a little bit over two years ago now. It's, as you can see it's still working fine. Uh, I thought I'd give you a few tips we learned along the way here. Uh, one of them is that when you put the filter bed in, use uh, a fairly good sized gravel. Uh, Home, Depot, so Home Depot sells uh, bags of these and uh, a pond, a river, river or pond gravel, I forget what it's called, uh, are fairly cheap too. They won't uh, be spending a, a bunch of bucks. What happened was we used pea gravel and the pea gravel was just too, too small, packed too closely together and as you get more and more crap that builds up in the bottom of these things, the, the flow gets uh, lessened. So what I was having here is an une uneven flow between this one and this one down here. Uh, it, looked like, it didn't really hurt anything, but it looked like hell. So what I had to do was go down and buy some of this stuff it's called muck off. And this is a 600 gallon pond, so it takes like four of these uh, every month in here. And it digests all that sludge that comes into the uh, bottom of the, in the gravel bed. I put it in, and it took about two months to clear it up. It was, worked, it's working just fine now. Came back to the, the way it was. Uh, as far as everything else goes, the, uh, the cannas you see here are the ones we originally started out with. All we do is every year, because we live in an area here that freezes up pretty good, uh, we, I get myself a pair of dishwashing gloves and I reach in there and I burrow my hands into the gravel, pull it out by the, by the roots, which isn't all that hard, and if you have a little bit of difficulty with it, you can gingerly insert a pitchfork down in there and pry it out. Just keep it away from the liner. And we throw it into a five gallon bucket and it goes into the, uh, the greenhouse, which we do keep just be fairly, basically above freezing so that, that this thing doesn't die off on us. And then every spring we just dig a hole and plop it back in. And we're it's June 27th now. And you can see it's making some pretty good um, progress. Uh, even though we've had some fairly cold temperatures here uh, up until just recently. And you can see the uh, elephant ear plant is in here too. I don't know how that got in there, but it's in there and it's, it's doing real well too. You can see uh, the cala down, the canna down here, and it's doing fairly well. The mouse marigolds, good lord, they got so big this year that it covered the whole, the whole, the whole bed. And uh, when we had a rainstorm, and it flattened everything out, so it looked it just looked, just it was just flat across the whole bed, and it wouldn't wouldn't prop back up. So we we cut it all down, and it just came right back. New leaves and everything. It, it, it's looking good. So if you come across those, don't be afraid to use them. The pickerel weed, it's been around with us now for 16 years. 17 years, and it's beginning to look a little threadbare. I might actually have to go in and replace that next year. We'll see how it does this year. Uh, it's just not growing like it used to. So that's about it. Uh, the update is finished, and as you can see, the gra the, uh, the under filter, the, the filter under the gravel bed is working just fine. So if you decide to put one of these in, follow our instructions. And it'll be good for at least two years. Um, do another update next year. See where we stand. You guys have a great rest of the summer, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.